like to for for celebrations or you know way to go get that boy that's all right that's the question
We are on two administrators' report where we have uh, seven donations, which are there are none. Yep. yep. And we don't have anybody for delegations to be heard. Somebody signed in and wanted to speak. Okay, yeah, okay. that's right. We, yeah. Do we have a donation? Yep, we do. And no okay, signed in to uh, sign to speak. Okay, no delegation. We're, then we're on the administrative report. No donations. Personnel action. Okay. So, um, so we have two resignations. Uh, sorry, three resignations. I'd like to bring to the board. One is for Rosalie Carl. I wish her the best of luck and thank her for her 14 years of service to our community. Uh, the other one is Jennifer Schwingel, uh, our choir teacher a year ago. Uh, and we wish her the best of luck and thank her for uh, her year of service this past year. And uh, the third one is Jackie Krajewski's uh, letter of resignation requesting to move from full time to part time. Again, the board already approved a full time contract in order for her to uh, lower that contract she needs to do so willingly. So, um, those are the three letters of resignation we are bringing to the board um, for, for consideration for a motion. Um, we also have several uh, individual teacher contracts. So, first of all, a big thank you to Becca and uh, your staff who's been very busy. I really appreciate that. So, um, in front of you, bringing to the board, we would like to recommend Megan Mueller. Um, for a, a third grade position, uh, you can see her proposed individual contract. Uh, Megan is straight from uh, University or Carroll University and has had strong student teaching experiences that uh, set her up well for our district. Um, also in third grade is Kimberly Bretzel, and uh, Kimberly's coming to us from experiences with Brown Deer, Sussex Hamilton, as well as MPS, and uh, she is a 12 year uh, vet, and you can see her individual contract there. Um, the corresponding move to the resignation, you'll see Jackie Krajewski's part-time 80% contract that we are recommending. Um, and then another corresponding move to that uh, lowering down to part-time and uh, for her request is, is the district's opportunity to expand our counseling services. And uh, you will see an individual contract uh, proposal for Jennifer Manson. Uh, Jennifer has been part of our educational community, not only from a community member, a parent, but also has been very, very active in uh, lots of uh, long-term substitute positions, whether it be for Jackie Krajewski in the, uh, the area of guidance counseling, and as well as some other IA positions, as well as teachers too. So Jenny comes to us with uh, about nine years of counseling experience as well too. So we're very excited to uh, bring the, uh, it's a, it would be a 50% contract um, for Jenny Manson, but um, she will be covering for uh, Jackie Krajewski during her maternity leave, hence the reason why it went from 50 to 11 percent or 50 to 61 percent, which basically counts the days in which Jackie would not, Jenny would not be here covering Jackie. So that's why it's a 61 percent contract. Uh, but once Jackie comes off of maternity leave, middle of November-ish, um, then Jennifer's 50 percent, two and a half days a week would have continued from that way too as well. So. Um, that contract covers Jenny covering Jackie Krajewski's maternity leave. That's why it's over 50%. Um, finally, our last two is Carrie uh, Badeau. She is coming to us from Germantown. And again, this would be an ad due to in our 5K area due to increased enrollment. So as we see our uh, more subdivisions and more basements. And more That's nice. It's nice. Yes. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, in defrost. But uh, you can see your individual contract. She has uh, over 15 years of experience from the Germantown School District, too. So she's got 15 years of experience. Finally, um, as this, this morning, she signed and returned her contract to Lady Olson to replace Janice, Janice Brown, who is uh, moving next door for uh, the choir position, replacing Jenny Schwingel uh, to become our part time music teacher here, replacing Janice at the primary school. Uh, this past year, she spent uh, the full year at uh, Kettle Moraine Elsman Elementary School. So um, we're very excited to uh, to welcome her and uh, to, to showcase her part-time individual contract to the board for consideration. Last thing, we have a letter of appointment. Again, uh, Stephanie Schneck is, uh, has accepted a position to become an instructional assistant at Merton Primary School this upcoming year, too, as well. So. Ultimately, three recommend or three motions the administration is recommending uh, for the, the resignations as presented, as you can see, the individual contracts, and then the letter of the letter of uh, appointment for Stephanie Schneck. 
John Walsh for the approval letter for resignation of Rosalie Carlos, Jackie Braski, and Jennifer Schwingel is presented. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor, then say aye. Aye. Both same sign. Motion is carried. I'll make a motion to approve the individual teacher contracts for Megan Bueller, Jack Braski, Jennifer Matson, Carrie Uday, Delaney Olson, and Kimberly Bretzel. I'll second. Motion is second. Is there any discussion? So the first grade position. The first grade position is posted, posted. and uh, we will be interviewing uh, sometime soon. So back in next week. So yeah. Another question. All those in favor then say aye. Aye. Both same sign. Motion is carried. I'll make a motion to approve the letter of appointment of Stephanie Schneck as presented. Second. Right. The motion is second. Any discussion? All in favor, then say aye. Aye. Both same sign. Motion is carried. Information? Sure. Um, as you hear, we have construction going on right there, right next door. So uh, <laughs> building renovation continues to occur, not only here at our primary school, but the main renovation happening over at Burnham Intermediate School. Um, things continue to go well. Uh, we continue to really shoot for that to be 100% ready to go by our district open house, which is about August 25th, if I recall. So um, we are on budget, certainly on budget, which is always good in, in this time. So they've been uh, not any big surprises when you open up walls or things like that above the ceiling and things like that too as well. So please continue to move forward and, and, and on, on track for that August 25th uh, grand opening. And that's in point two as well. So the rest of the facilities uh, continue to be cleaned and open and ready for teacher preparation as well. Uh, the intermediate school as of today is 100% ready to go outside of the new renovation area, but for the four academic wings are all ready to go. And here at Burton Primary School, uh, we have about 90% of our classrooms done. All of our 5K, I do believe, is, is what's needed to be done. Now. So uh, we continue to work forward through that. Um, we are finishing up our second session of uh, in-person summer school. That's that stops tomorrow. So, a big thank you to um, our summer school staff who have made that run, and in particular, Jennifer Peterson, Jay, and Don Buckarker as well, to kind of the, the masterminds behind that as well. And then uh, finally, we have Camp Convention coming up this upcoming week, and then our third session of summer school as well, too. So, lots of action happening at Burton Primary School uh, as we move through summer, too, as well. So, um, that's pretty much kind of the update. So, lots happening. Okay, then we're on to new business. We have the academic standards. Per uh, state statute, Act 55, all public schools at their first board meeting of the year, this is our first one of the fiscal year, must uh, declare people academic standards adopted by the board for the uh, effective school year upcoming. So, um, this is our standards declaration. It has been the last several years. It encompasses um, just kind of where we create. Our, our academic standards, whether they be from the Wisconsin Model Academic, Next Gen's, Common Core, and locally developed academic expectations. So, just looking for a motion to approve the, uh, the, the following academic standard statement. And unfortunately, we will need to read the entire uh, statement there for the record. I'll make a motion to approve the following statement identifying the Merton Community School District's pupil academic standards for the 2021 22 school year. The meeting our community school district is committed to using benchmark and rigorous academic standards that set the highest expectations for student performance and prepare students in the district for success in college and career development. In creating these standards, the district carefully looks at multiple sources to best prepare our students for future college and career success, and then create standards to best fit the needs of the Merton Community School District students. These sources include the Wisconsin Model Academic Standards, Next Generation Science Standards, Common Core, and other locally developed academic expectations. One second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Discussion? All in favor, then say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion's carry. We're on to the 6603 agreement with yep. Lakeside. Yep. So uh, every year we have been pooling our resources together to for uh, physical therapy services for our students with IEPs. Uh, no different than this 
this upcoming year too. So um, attached is to 6603 that uh, reflects ultimately the financial obligation to the district. We have approximately five hours and we bill that hourly. So we just, uh, our Lakeside bills us for the, uh, the services that are rendered for only work which is approximately five dollars per week as we're moving into this year so uh just recommending the board make a motion to approve the 6603 with Hartman lakeside school district for physical therapy services for the 21 22 school year as presented i'll make a motion to approve the 6603 with Hartman lakeside school district with physical therapy services for the 2022 school year as presented second okay we have a motion and a second any discussion all in favor then say aye. Aye. Both same time. Motion to carry. Okay, we got future meeting agenda items. Okay. So for standard meetings, we've got uh, obviously the August 30th meeting, uh, our monthly meeting. We've got our annual meeting budget hearing on the 14th of September, 27th, and uh, we've got kind of those upcoming meetings. And getting back on that Monday schedule, the last Monday of the month, pretty much that, that represents for our normal. Is everybody okay with uh, the normal meetings there? Okay. And then student achievement, we'd like to meet before the uh, August 30th meeting. Uh, talk about what uh, we talked about already, kind of visioning, preparation, and uh, some of our next steps with, uh, with our strategic plan now too as well. So now we also have a few other items if we wanted to continue the conversation around that. Uh, and I, I don't see the August meeting being super long if we wanted to do it at that time or if we wanted to find something in august so there is a meeting before the 6 p.m yes yep yep we would like to have the student achievement committee come together and that would be lindsay andrew phil and myself if that's possible yep we'd love to have you guys go yeah. yeah that's what we're right. oh yeah sorry maybe you didn't know about the meeting <laughs> The two heavy hitters were right, we just talked about. Yeah, I mean, again, finances and facilities is one thing to just update and see if there's any. You're right, yeah, those are probably like shorter conversations. Yeah, yeah, is it worth just finishing? Yeah, we can't just did it as such. What if we, what if we, uh, I'm okay to do, do it at the beginning of the meeting uh, and post it? The uh, monthly meeting will start after. What's the benefit? Of, what, why does it matter? I'm just curious what your thought process is. I'm, I'm just looking at. Uh, Maybe we would. Uh, we're we're going to have a forum before that, anyhow. So there's no definite start time. No, we'll we'll, we'll make sure that we end oh. before six o'clock. Our achievement committee meeting will only last an hour. No, I'm not talking about. You're saying that. there's there would be if we have the regular oh. meeting first and then follow it with this mm -hmm. meeting. There would be no definitive start time for the follow-up meeting. Whereas if you switch this to yep. there's a definitive start time for this new meeting yep. and the regular board meeting already has a determined start time because of the community. So we go at six or eight, I think a half hour would be fine. You can start the regular meeting at 6 30. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Awesome. Any agenda? That, that. And we'll do that community forum again. Like we've done before. Right, we did today. Okay. Yep. Got it. school starts again. People might show up. Oh, that's right. <laughs> More people might show up. Okay. I'll make a motion. Here we go. That's my question. The motion and a second. All in favor, then say aye. 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 Motion to carry. Meetings adjourned. Now we have some signs.